My name is Matt Piper. I work here at the Institute of Healthy Aging. We work on yeast, worms and flies and we try to discover any genetic or environmental manipulation that extends their healthy lifespan. And the point is, of course, that we don't want to learn how to extend the lifespan really of yeast, worms and flies. We want to understand how to extend the healthy lifespan of humans. And that really differentiates the research we do from any other type of biomedical research like cancer research or arthritis or diabetes research. We think those things are actually symptoms of one common cause and that's aging itself. So if we can treat aging, we can actually can treat all the diseases of aging simultaneously. So what we're going to show at the Royal Society exhibit are three things. We hope to introduce you to the biology of aging, the fact that genes control aging, the fact that uh, a worm can live for two weeks, uh, a mouse for three years, and a whale for a couple of hundred years, and a hydra even is reportedly supposed to be immortal. It proves the point that, it, that for very long durations of time, things can be functionally uh, active for uh, a very old ages, so that this is biologically possible. Uh, the second component of what we are going to talk about and show and interact over is, is our model organisms, so the yeast, worms and the flies. And I, I have a couple of flies here. What you'll be able to see is that we have very old flies in one of these vials and they sort of, like old people, they fall over and stumble around a bit, and whereas the younger flies are much more active. They jump up and they climb up the sides of the vials. And, and I think this is a real demonstration that even though these organisms are sort of foreign to most people is that uh, you can actually really see that they get old and that they age and so they're useful for our ageing research. And then the third part is to convey a message of what it is like to be older in yourself. So to hopefully give you an idea of what it will be like to look older and to feel older. These three things together sort of sum up what we, what we do here in the lab, which is to try and take what we know about the genetics and the environment and use those things on the yeast worms and flies to extend their healthy lifespan, to understand something more about human ageing and how we might be able to make humans healthier with old age.